Do you know that every day 35 million presentations are given and 79% of them are boring? If you want your presentation to stand out, then watch this video to learn some basic PowerPoint animations that will make your presentation outstanding. Open a blank PowerPoint slide and insert an arc shape. Adjust the width of the shape using the yellow button. Create a duplicate of the shape by clicking Ctrl and D. Adjust the size of the second shape. Click Ctrl D again to create one more copy. Adjust the size again. Organize the shapes as shown in the video. Make adjustment to the width of the shape using the yellow button. Make sure all the shapes are of same width. Now take all the shapes down to the bottom of the slide area. Now click on the outer shape and create a duplicate. Extend the duplicate shape to the end of the slide area like the video. Format the shape with no fill. Select an outline color for the shape. Now right click and send it back. Now format the outer smaller arc with the same line color. Follow the same process for the rest of the two arcs. Adjust the size of the inner arcs using the yellow button. You can adjust it according to your need. After that, I will add some text to the slide. I have already prepared the text for the slide. Now, I will add animation. For the arc, I will use the wipe animation and choose from the left. And for the text, I will use the fade animation. Using the animation pane, delay the animation of the text to some extent and adjust the duration of the each animation. You can do it by following the video itself. Using the animation painter option, you can copy the animation directly to the other arcs and the text. Follow the same process. Adjust the duration of the animations and add some delays to each pair of the text for all the arcs. This is the repetition of the first animation itself, so I am not covering it in detail. Now for all three pairs of text, change the trigger button to with previous. Your slide would be ready by now. For the second slide, we would be using motion path animation and a play animation. Start with inserting a text box and inserting some text. Now change the formatting of the text. I have used Comic Sans font for this. Now go to draw and select the pencil button. Draw a line under the text. You can do it multiple times to get something that you like. Now insert a rectangular shape that covers the text and the shape also. Select no outline for the rectangle. And change the fill color to slight background color. Send it back. Now add a text box and add relevant text. Now we will add the animations. For the headings, we have used wipe and from left, like the previous one. For the drawn line, select replay. And for the text box, we will be using motion path animation of PowerPoint. You will be using the down. Take the text box outside of slide area. Right click and send it to back. Adjust the motion path of animation using the red button like I did in the video.
Now go to animation pane and change the duration. For the drawn line and the text, add some delays and change the duration also. Also change the trigger too with previous. Now copy and paste all the text, heading and the drawn line. Change the text according to your slides need. Do it one more time. And change again. Send the text box back. Your slide number 2 should be ready by now. If you are new to the channel, a subscribe would be inspiring. Slide number 3, I have used motion path animation again and fade animation. Insert the line chart and change the format of the background to black. Delete the axis line. Increase the font size for the chart area. Now, click on the line and increase the width of the line and change the color also. Now take the chart to the right so that you can add some text on the left side of the slide. Go to insert and insert a line to cover the x-axis of the line chart. Adjust the width of the line and change the color to white. The purpose of the line is to cover up the x-axis of the line chart. Now change the formatting of the label and add detail labels. I have already prepared the text for this slide also. I have used congenial font and the corporate air font for the text. Insert a circle and place it on the chart area like this. This I will be using for as a guide. Take the chart to the right side of the slide area, outside the slide. Now go to animation. We will be using line animation for this. Go to more animation paths and select left. Now drag the red button and align the chart area with the circle that we have placed just before. See whether the chart is falling on the right place. After that, add animation for the text. I have used the wipe animation. You can adjust the durations and delays. And also you can adjust the trigger for each of the text. Make sure to use the animation ping option of the PowerPoint. Your slide would be ready now. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned some basic animation technique of PowerPoint. Leave us a comment and also make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.